All right, think of this. An expedition so extreme it had never been attempted. Mm -hmm. That is, until now. And one of the three to conquer this feat is Greensboro's Charlie Engel. Well, tonight he shares his story of physical endurance and personal conflict in hopes that it will might inspire someone to, as Charlie puts it, do something now. To me, part of the point of, of life uh, for all of us is to get out of that that happy middle ground, that safe area, and and put ourselves to the test. That test, a grueling journey across six countries, 4,500 miles, and nine different ecosystems. It allows us to learn more about ourselves, and for me, that's what drives me. I, I have to have that challenge to uh, to push me to want to take on something like this. A quest he and two teammates took on, they became the first to run across the Sahara Desert, averaging 42 miles for 111 consecutive days. It was a, a pretty monumental goal that uh, ultimately I tied also to the necessity for clean water in Africa. And so I was able to help create a foundation called H2O Africa that uh, the goal of that foundation is to bring clean water to people that don't have it. Filmmakers captured the historic journey. Running the Sahara opens in theaters later this year. Every single time we were down, we would come to a village and there would be, you know, 20 or 120 kids that would come out and run with us for, you know, a mile or all the way through the village. And it was always incredibly uplifting and it reminded us of the purpose for us being there and, and I think that that is the that's a memory that I will always keep but for Charlie those memories are embedded with those from 1992 visions of the day in Wichita Kansas that changed his life forever and that particular day I you know somehow found you know found the strength to you know, go to an AA meeting that night. I recognized a long time ago that I have an addictive nature. You know, it is part of my, my physical and chemical makeup. And during my 20s, you know, the, the way that manifested itself was through drugs and alcohol. If you're lucky, you find a way to get through it. 95% of, of people that are addicts of my nature will absolutely die from the disease. Sober for 15 years, dedication defines Charlie Engel. Hopefully in the future that will continue and I'll have a chance to do, to do more things that, um, that continue to push the envelope of what I think is humanly possible. And so on May 21st, he will embark on a journey that will take him from Seattle, Washington to Washington, D.C. 45 days, 70 miles a day. While trying to accomplish the world speed record, he will also raise awareness of childhood obesity. I have to test the limits of what I'm capable of and I do it because I know that if I can survive that, I'll get out the other side and hopefully be a better person and a more useful person for the rest of society. Do something now, Charlie's message for all of us. To prepare for his run across America, he ran 24 hours straight on New Year's <laughs> Day. And normally he runs just 8 to 10 miles a day. Now along with being an endurance athlete, volunteer, and philanthropist, Charlie Engel is most proud of his life as a doting father. Running the Sahara comes to theaters in May. You can read more about Charlie's life journeys and charity projects on digtryit.com. Just type Charlie Engel in the search bar. Wow, he Very turns his pain into help for others. That's it incredible. Is.